Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS HDTM programming. So in this video now we will see how to logically relate the variables in HDTM AE domain. Let us say that a clinical trial is being conducted and in this clinical trial the examinations will be made in three different phases screening, treatment and follow up. Let us say there are two possible visits in screening and three visits in uh, treatment and one visit in follow up. So at each visit the investigator would ask the clinical trial participants whether they have experienced any adverse events. So let us now assume that there is a subject and now the subject is at the investigator site and then the investigator has asked this question did you experience any adverse events when compared to when you have last come since when you have last come to the site. So in that say for example one of the subjects has said that yes I had burning sensation in the stomach. So for the question of any adverse events experience the subject said yes and then he described the side effect that he has noticed since his last visit to the investigator site. So he said that there was this burning sensation in stomach. So any untoward medical occurrence is called an adverse event in terms of clinical trial data collection. So this is an any untoward medical occurrence. So this will be called an adverse event. So as soon as the subject says that the he experienced some medical occurrence or medical event, the investigator would have some questions. So say for example, he or she would be interested in the start date of this particular adverse event. So we need a variable to store this and then the question would come like did it actually end or so the subject is still experiencing that. If it ended then we would ask for what was the end date and then the investigator would ask or evaluate whether the particular adverse event experienced by the subject is serious or not and then he will also ask what was the severity of the burning sensation that the subject experienced and then sub investigator would also be interested in knowing whether it is recovered or resolved or not and then based on his medical judgment he will also try to understand whether the particular study treatment that is being given has caused the event or not. So he would make that causality assessment. So based on his causality assessment and other particular information, so the investigator has to take a decision on whether to interrupt or reduce the dose of the study treatment or some other action has to be taken with the study treatment or not. So sometimes it may warrant that the dose may have to be stopped or reduced or interrupted temporarily. So that will be that action taken should also be stored in a variable and then the investigator may also have this question so have you taken any other medications so as you have experienced this adverse event so sometimes what can happen is along with the action that is taken with the study treatment there can be some other actions that may be taken by the investigator so we need a variable to store this information now let us try to identify the variables that can be used or that needs to be used as per SDTM domain for all these variables. So we have seen in the earlier video that every clinical trial will have an identification number and that will be stored in a variable called study ID which stands for study identifier. So we have also discussed that each information collected will be stored in a particular data set and the information related to adverse events is stored in a data set called AE. So we need to create a variable in that data set which stores the adverse events and then we need to populate the value in that variable as AE. And then we have our subject. So there can be multiple subjects in the clinical trial. So we need to have a variable to store the information related to that subject's identification number. So that variable will be u sub id. So now we have found like three variables that needs to be used for SDTM AE domain. 
and then so in adverse events data set we will only collect or report the data when an adverse event has occurred we do not capture this information of if any adverse event occurred or not say for example yes no question is this so if we if there are no adverse events experienced by the subject we do not capture that in the sdtm ae domain so in the raw data set we may have a question like this but we only capture the information into sdtm ae domain when a subject experienced the adverse event and we will report the information related to the adverse events experienced so we do not need to map this question to sdtm ae domain so in sdtm domain so in every domain so most of the variables will have the prefix of the domain to which the information is getting mapped to so as this is ae domain so we will have the prefix of ae to most of the variables in the data set so we need to have a variable to store the description of the adverse event experienced by the subject so that variable is as this is ae so the standard prefix of ae we have a variable called term which is used to store the reported verbatim or like whatever the text that they have used to describe the event will be stored in this variable called ae term and then now let us come to this variable called start date so as this is ae so we will have the standard prefix of ae and then st for start in this case and dtc for the date time on which the adverse event has started so we'll come back to this whether the event has ended or not in a little while but we'll now try to identify the variable that will be used to store the end date so ae en for end dtc for the date time in character format ae en dtc and this question on whether the adverse event is a serious adverse event or not is stored in a variable called ae for this is the prefix and ser for serious and then we store this variable for severity in a variable named ae sev and then this question of whether the subject has recovered or not this is the outcome of the event what is the outcome of the event so that is stored in a variable called ae out and then this variable or this information of causality is stored in a variable called this causality is nothing but whether the particular study medication has caused or related the so let me put it this way so causality is nothing but the whether the study re, uh, whether the adverse event is related to the study treatment so this is nothing but the relationship of the adverse event to the study treatment so this information is stored in a variable called as this is capturing the information on relationship between the adverse event and the study treatment it is a e r e l so relationship between the adverse event and the study treatment is stored in this variable called aerel so and then we have this question of action taken with study treatment so we have a variable called ae acn so this action and this and acn are related so action taken with the study treatment has to be stored in a variable called ae acn and then for this other actions taken so a e a c n o t h so action other so any other actions taken apart from the actions with the study treatment will be stored in this variable called a e a c n o t h and then any medications taken because of this adverse event has to be stored in a variable called a e c o n trt so in this variable we will only collect whether any concomitant medications or concomitant treatment taken because of this adverse event the actual medications taken will be reported in concomitant medications 
but we will only report whether any medications has been taken or not it is a yes or no question so now we know in uh, adverse events domain which is an events domain the epoch variable will be calculated or derived based on the start date of the information so this say for example if the subject is coming for follow up visit and in at this visit the subject or the investigator would ask have you experienced any event since your last visit say for example the subject experienced an event immediately after the last visit which was corresponding to follow up so the epoch variable will be based on aestdtc so this information on epoch will be stored in a variable called epoch now let us try to identify how many number of variables we can logically relate to based on the questions that will be asked by the investigator related to adverse events so this is 1 2 3 start date is 4 end date is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so if we just try to logically go through this sequence of questions that will be asked by the investigator will be easily able to recollect 14 variables which can be used in sdtm adverse events domain now we will come back to this question of end so at each visit say for example this burning session sensation is ongoing till the end of the study so which means the subject this adverse event will not have an end date so how do we capture this information in sdtm a so we have two sets of variables or two variables which are used to store this information so ae en r tpt so and the second variable is ae en tpt so the question of like whether the event has ended or not will continue to be asked till the end of the study say for example the event has not ended till the end of the study so a e end time point say for example so it is end of study so the question was last asked at the end of the study and what is the uh, end status related to this time point so that information is stored in this variable called a e e n r t p t so say for example if the event is ongoing at the end of study so we would populate this variable value as ongoing so if we do not have the end date so we use these two variables to capture whether the event has ended in relationship to end of study or not so we capture the text of end of study in ae and tpt and we put a value called ongoing in this variable ae en r tpt so end related to this time point so the event is ongoing when at the end of the study so we have identified two more variables so it was 14 this is 15 and 16 so now we know 16 variables in a logical flow thank you for watching and keep learning